It is a day embedded in the minds of Americans forever. 18 years ago today, terrorists crashed planes into the Pentagon and the Twin Towers in New York City, killing thousands. But our nation proved its resilience, and today memorial services all across the country and here at home honored those killed, including the first responders who rushed into burning buildings. While those images from that day stick with many of us, young students in school now do not know a pre-9-11 America. Two Works for You's Lorraine Callender shares how teachers are using their personal memories to help students connect to the gravity of that tragic day. Um, I had just left keyboarding class when the first plane hit the North Tower. U.S. history teacher Betty Collins remembers the attacks on 9-11 vividly. Living in the United States, I'd always felt very, very secure here, and that feeling, um, almost like a security blanket being ripped away. Her husband joined the Marine Corps a few years later. We know... Um, several people, friends, dear friends of ours that have lost their lives in either Iraq or Afghanistan. Uh, they said that they were in school and all the teachers had like their like TVs turned on and stuff and they were all like watching the news. Students shared what their parents remember about 9-11. For Alyssa Buckner, she learned how the aftermath impacts her 18 years later. My mom told me whenever she was younger before 9-11, you didn't really have to get your carry-on bags checked. Her father was in military training when the Twin Towers were hit. He could have not made it, but I'm really glad he's like safe and it's just really scary to think about. While they didn't live through it, Collins doesn't want these eighth graders to treat 9-11 as another page in their history book. They are the ones that are ultimately going to be making those policy decisions for us, you know, 10 or 20 years in the future. Um, so they need to know the history of, of why we're fighting that war on terror so they know how to bring our country out of that. Collins says class may start off with a few silly questions, but when she starts talking about her memories and how 9-11 personally impacted her life, students settle in and take the lesson very seriously. Reporting live outside the Union 8th grade center, Lorraine Callender, two works for you.